All right, welcome back. Today we're gonna work on a drill to help you feel a longer pull with Lauren. Hey. All right, so what is this drill we're talking about? It is called a partner pull. We're gonna start off with just a standing throw position. And the idea is we're gonna try and get the hip to kind of lead a little bit, keeping the arm back. And Lauren's gonna feel a little bit of tension, hopefully in her core and then up in the shoulder. Okay, so standing throw position, arm back. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep her palm to the sky and I'm gonna try and keep her hand maybe around chin level. And she's just gonna sort of settle back, drop that left shoulder, chest, and feel the hip, and then rock back and we do it again. So one of the things that we're doing here is we're trying to get some hip shoulder separation. And you can see that I'm just giving a little bit of resistance as she's pulling through. Okay, so next round, we're just gonna add an impulse. And this time, Lauren is actually gonna throw me. So it's the same setup as a standing throw. I'm gonna keep her palm to the sky. I'm gonna do a crossover with her and she's gonna throw me. Okay, so I'm not giving too much tension, but I'm trying to give her just enough so she feels like there's something to be throwing. Okay, so Lauren, do you feel your hip moving in this? Yeah. Do you feel tension in your shoulder? Yes, I do. How does it feel? Does it feel like it's kind of like a real throw? Yeah, it feels like my arm is a lot longer and everything is just fluid. Yeah, like you're actually moving towards the target. Yeah. Yeah. I know one of your problems is like you're dipping your shoulder and dropping the arm a little bit. This yeah. is supposed to help kind of line things up. Yeah. So I think we probably just have to do a thousand of them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're gonna wrap it up there. Thanks again for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. And until we see you next time, have fun and throw far. Bye. Bye. <laughs>